color. Color. Woo! Nice red. Lovely. Put yeah. some popper up. Now, can you tell us about the eyes on these things? Oh, no, that's not the eyes. So that, that's actually his butthole. And the <laughs> other one? Oh. His penis. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, they use echolocation to to catch butterflies down there. That's how they survive. Can you see the red color? Yeah. Well, that's because nice. he's been holding his breath for like 10 years. So. Oh. What's happening, guys? Here's another episode of Cooking with Chef Eddie. And we're going to make something so simple, so easy, you're probably going to be like, why didn't I think of that? So how many of you guys like potato chips? Any kind of chips, Frito-Lays or Doritos? We love Doritos here in this house, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make Dorito crusted rockfish. It takes two ingredients plus your rockfish and you're good to go. Check this out. This is it. Mayonnaise and Doritos. You're like, what the hell? Why the hell are we using mayonnaise? It's the glue. We tried dipping it in some egg wash and we put it in the chips. We fried it up. We pan seared it. One good. There were some flops and some bloopers that you would have saw and you probably would have never subscribed to our videos. So the key is use the mayonnaise. It's the glue. Take the fish with the glue. Put it all over and coat it over with the Doritos and then put it in the oven. So you take some mayonnaise and what we want to do is we want to put it in a separate, separate thing. You want to take a brush or a spoon so that way you don't dip your spoon back in the mayonnaise and contaminate it for everybody else and then they're going to get sick so that's not a good scene. So we'll go ahead and put some mayonnaise in here and what I've done is I've taken the back side of the spoon and I've coated these fillets. So let me show you how we got there. So I'm just going to take a little bit like that. There is no measurement. The trick here is coated all over the fish. Okay. So if I had to guess, it's probably half a teaspoon. Step two, let's go ahead and dunk these bad boys in some smushed, crunched up Doritos. Let's do it up. Pat it down. You can see the other side has nothing on it. And when you think it's good, go ahead and flip it back over. And as you can see, we've got a Dorito crusted side fish. Put it on back on my tray which I've lined with parchment paper and let's repeat the cycle. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to do a taste test here. One side already done. I'm going to take the other side and we're going to actually coat both sides with Doritos. We want to see how that comes out and that way we'll be able to tell you coat both sides and let's do the whole thing crusted or just one side. And I'm going to put it in an oven at about 425 degrees on conventional so it's about 400 and we're going to cook it for about 10 minutes. Here we go. All right guys, so we kind of teased you for another video that's up and coming. This is called ranchera pescado. Basically, that's just slang for pico de gallo over your favorite fish, fish with a little bit of avocado. So the wifey wanted to have something a little healthier instead of the uh, crusted Dorito fish that we're doing. So that's for the wifey. Let's check out what ours looks like. Oh yeah, that looks great. Still sizzling. One good point, based on how your oven cooks, whether it's gas or it's electric, uh, what we were learning here, even though it was cooking at uh, 425 at convention, convection uh, for 10 minutes, we actually stopped it at nine. So realistically, depending on your oven, you could actually go 400 to 425 for eight to 10 minutes, depending on how your oven cooks. So in this case, we did nine minutes at 425. Let's take a look how it looks. All right, so this is the double crusted side and this is the one side that's crusted. So we're gonna have a taste test and see which one we like best. We all have a little bit of both. This is the double crusted and this is the single crusted and I got some tartar sauce in the middle. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna try just the uh, one sided. Cheers. Very good. Hot. Very hot. Let's try the double sided. I didn't think I was going to be a fan of the double sided, but I am because as you can see when you cut into it and you try to like, you know, get to it and everything, you lose some of the some of the chips. On the double sided, you don't have to worry about it too much because you have it on both sides. So, my personal opinion is I like the double crusted. What do you think, Ray? You made a good point. 
you do lose a little bit of chips when you try to uh, scoop up the fish but also the double sided it's more flavorful you get more flavor from the bottom as well so I do favor the double sided single sided was that one then that one's a double crusted this one's really good I like this one best okay so the, the double crusted is the is the unanimous winner across the board so guys like I mentioned get your favorite fish get your favorite chips crush them up get some mayonnaise for the glue coat both sides of it take your smashed up chips put your fish on both sides the trick here is what you do is when you coat the first first side put that chip side down so that way you have the wet side up which is the other side that you still need to uh, coat and then you take your chips that are already on a plate and you just kind of like let it fall a little bit on the fish and then you pat it down that's going to be the less messiest way to do so if we ever do this again with a different flavor of chips like barbecue sriracha or just Ooh. barbecue um, we'll show it and we'll show you how we did it step by step of the way or go ahead and uh, message us and then we'll go ahead and answer your questions that's all we got for you right now um, we'll go ahead and let Ray. we'll go ahead and let Ray. bye bye Jenny Ray take it away right here but we appreciate you spending the time with us right now and cooking with Chef Eddie there you have it guys short little easy tutorial on how to make an amazing meal easy enough that even I can make it two ingredients very very simple it's and it's really good I barbecue flavored chips Barbecue Lay's might be really good too. I think that might be the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Cooking with Eddie, and we will see you all next time. We'll go and let Ray. Bye bye, Jenny.